Welcome back everybody, Derek Sue, your 2022 Oakland mayoral candidate. Today, I wanna to talk about rat traps. Now, we've been having some issues here. Uh, the vermin problem has, has come back because city of Oakland has stopped picking up trash. Uh, today, I was just notified that the city's gonna resume uh, trash pickup. Uh, coming this week uh, is what it, what the notice said. So we'll see what happens. So that obviously means that the city of Oakland now has um, a police officer escort for DPW. So uh, we're glad of that and, and that uh, trash is being restored. But right now, what we're we're having to deal with a lot of vermin, uh, young vermin. Uh, coming in at night and so that trash pile like I said was we knew it was going to eventually catch up with us so uh, because we have pets and children uh, here in this camp we also were concerned about using poisons because um, that's the most common thing that's what Alameda County Vector comes out and does they throw a whole lot of blocks but uh, they put them in, in uh, containers so that they're pet resistant or they put them in areas where um, the, our dogs can't uh, access those uh, poison blocks and so uh, that's one of the ways the, these rats have all, all have uh, figured out the snap traps and so we had to go to other different types of uh, ways to catch them. And, and over the years, I, I've tested out a lot of different things, but right now the, the most effective that we've uh, been uh, finding are the electrocution ones, the electronic uh, traps. We had tried uh, walk the plank. Yeah, I couldn't find one the size for a rat. So the rats all defeated these. Uh, quite easily because they're just by their sheer size they could just keep weight back on on the uh, teeter-totter and not slide into the bucket <clears throat> then uh, we tried some other different types of traps uh, um, uh, one that is called the rolling log the rolling log was actually very very effective in fact it was so effective in one night I, I caught six rats that, that drowned in the bucket but then uh, somebody stole the buckets uh, because they were effective traps and, and it didn't cost anything because uh, uh, we put a little bit of peanut butter right on the middle of the log and as soon as they start rolling on the log they fall into the water and eventually they tired and drowned and so though that was a really effective one it cost me a total of uh, under ten dollars to create one of those uh, and it was highly effective uh, but uh, we wanted to try some other different things and, and so uh, because we have pets we try and make sure that uh, these um, rat and vermin controls are non-poisonous to uh, children and our small animals so uh, we use the electronic ones <coughs> and I bought one of these uh, in front of the rainy season and on these one of the things that they do tell you uh, all the electronic uh, rat traps tell you keep it in a dry place well um, they aren't kidding because unfortunately this one got a, a little too wet shorted out the circuit board and so this is $30 uh, that is uh, no longer useful and uh, all this actually does now serve as a, a training because what I do um, rats get smart <clears throat> and they, they, they see these type of little things, a little cubby hole, they're comfortable, kind of comfortable with that, but they're not sure. But you put some bait in there, and what I do, I try and let them, I bait them for at least three days before I switch the electrocution on. And so they get real used to feeding and coming into there, and then they get very comfortable. Then one night, they just get electrocuted. And, and the one thing that I found about these electrocution uh, they, they don't always work. They say 100% guaranteed kill. And there's been a number of times when I heard the, heard the electrocution go off on this. And then because 
it's late in the, in the night, I didn't want to get up and, and go empty it out, so I just let it be. But then, like 10 minutes later, I hear the trap making you know, noises, the electrocution noises again, and, and it's like, wow, that's really strange. He must still be alive. This is 10 minutes later. And then I get up in the morning, and lo and behold, there's not even a rat in the trap. He literally got up and left. So um, my advice is um, go up, check the uh, traps right after you hear them go off, if possible. I do because you know, my tiny home is not very, very big, and, and I can hear the electrocution process. And so now what I'm going to be doing is I have a large container for dumping the body into, snapping the lid on, on top, and, and then you know, even if he's alive, he's going to suffocate in there because he's just going to screw the lid down tight and, and that'll be the end of that rat. Um, some of the rats are quite large. Uh, uh, one of the rats that we dealt with was literally the size of a seven pound cat. That's a pretty big rat. But anyway, I got a, a new trap because the Victor trap shorted out. That was $30 <coughs> and it shorted out. So now I, I understand that um, there's some differences with them. And, and also this one, I, I really didn't like it that much because it was so difficult to put the bait in. Um, they were really short-sighted. Victor was really short-sighted on how to bait the trap, how to clean the trap, uh, and, and it was set up to fail. And so anyway, I got something a little, a little newer, a little more modern. Uh, this one is by Perneet. And it's another electrocution style trap. Uh, it, this one doesn't say 8,000 volts, it says 7,000 volts. And so taking it out of the box, right there, you see what it says. Look inside, now you can see the area back there and then they, they can't access it. And then here's the on and off switch. This is an area where you put the, the four C size batteries. And, and so uh, what I'm gonna be doing for the next few days, I'm gonna be training the rats to go into this very comfortably, get very comfortable. Because I'm gonna bait it, keep bait in there. And, and after a couple of nights where I know that they're actually uh, taking the bait, then the next night I'll switch, load the batteries in, switch this on. And then that way they'll, they're none the wiser. And one of the nice things that I liked about this one is that this one comes apart. You can break it apart and then much easier to load bait right there. Also, it disconnects everything so that you can actually wash this out and, and clean it out. So, because these can get pretty funky really quick uh, because uh, you're using peanut butter or uh, meat, uh, cat food, uh, mice love cat food, uh, wet cat food mixed with a little dry crunchy stuff and, and <laughs> it's irresistible to them. But anyway, we're going to be setting this out with bait uh, over the next three nights or actually until we see uh, some activity. But also on the activity, uh, I've been mentioning uh, a non-toxic uh, mix and so what I, I did one of my old mixes right here I mean this is the cereal I took the cereal uh, boxes took three of them dumped them mixed them together and then on top of that um, I mixed in flour and also baking soda Baking soda is the secret that makes it lethal for rats and mice and not any other animal. Because mice and rats can't burp and they can't fart. So yeah, they can't burp and they can't fart. So that's kind of a problem. Once this uh, baking soda hits the stomach acids, it starts mixing, it's kind of like vinegar. And, and it starts bubbling up and it, it, it expands them, makes them pop from the inside. And so, uh, 
it's non-lethal so even if your animals for some reason started eating this it's not going to hurt them uh, especially dogs cats and, and then if children get into this thinking that that's sugar on top again nothing's toxic there and so these are things that uh, you can use around the house. You just gotta make sure that it stays in a dry, accessible location where there's high traffic. So that's the secret to this. But, and put it on a tray. Uh, if you wanna kill them a little faster, you add uh, plaster of Paris or the hot uh, sheetrock mud mix. Uh, you can go down to uh, Home Depot, get it for about 20 bucks for a 10, 10 pound sack, I think it is. And you make, just dry mix it, uh, 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 half a pound of uh, the, the mud mix, the 20 minute, get the, the get the 20 minute, not the 100, 120 minute, the, the fastest because it heats up the most. And so anyway, use that and within a couple of days, you're gonna notice a big drop in who's eating out of that tray. So those are some little tips for you. Hope that helps you out. We're employing them right now at this site to control the vermin until the city starts picking up our trash again down the street. So thanks for joining us today. We'll be right back.